Okay, I'm just waiting for some parts uh, to come in, but uh, I got thinking about it last night, and it might be a good idea to uh, just take a shot of uh, what's in between the cases for our newer members, uh, non-mechanic types. Um, you have to excuse my voice and my camera work. I'm not real handy with this camera yet. And... Uh, I'm not used to uh, looking in one direction and pointing in another, so... <clears throat> anyway, uh, I caught a hell of a cold off my daughter, so if my voice is scratchy, then uh, so be it. So, basically, this is uh, what it looks like inside the cases. point out some things and uh, we'll talk about what they're called. This motor just happens to be from a 7080. So um, a couple of things. There's two ways to start this bike and uh, one is with the uh, kickstart which actually sits in here. Its gear meshes with this one. And you can see there's dogs inside there, I hope. Let's see those dogs engage. Right. So when, when the motor's turning, you can see it's rotating freely. Nothing's moving here. All right. And it's engaged into first gear. So that's the first means of starting it. Sorry about the camera work. The second means is uh, with this, this is your starter clutch here for your electric start. Anyway, we'll go through some of the, uh, I'll point out some stuff here. <clears throat> So obviously this is your uh, uh, gear change lever. All right. So uh, this little uh, fork aperture or uh, apparatus here is called your uh, shift lever number one. And this entire assembly is uh, your shift shaft assembly. And there's a return spring here. Don't lose that when you take it apart. Um, this is called your uh, shift lever number two. Sorry about the camera work. And you'll notice on here that there's two dots. Those two dots have to line up when, uh, well, when you reinstall these uh, levers, make sure it's in second gear. And that's when you make sure they line up. This is your, uh, well, depending on which book you use, this will be referred to your uh, selector drum, a shift drum, or a change drum. This is your shift pawl. We'll call this the shift drum today. So basically what you'll see is a series of lanes and grooves in here and uh, there's a military term for you <clears throat> and on the back of these shift forks you'll see little tits and they'll ride within these grooves and basically what these shift forks do is they move these gears in and out I don't know if you can see, but there's there's lugs on those, or dogs, we like to call them dogs, and they fit in slotted holes in there. Alright, so it as these ride through the uh, the grooves, it'll move this fork in and out. Of course this shaft is turning at the same time. So basically this one moves, this one moves, and uh, well, they all should move. This is uh, shift fork number one, shift fork number two, and shift fork number three. 
This is your uh, oil pump idler gear. This is your uh, shift cam detent plunger. And uh, you can see that it rides on this little star type apparatus. That gives you the little clicking or the positive feel when you get air into gear. Let's see what else we got here. Now I'm going to, uh, I'll put this together and give you a little run through of what it, what's actually going on in here. But basically, uh, what you've got is, uh, this is your middle drive gear. This is your first gear. This is your fourth gear. This is your third gear. This is your second gear. And this is your fifth gear. Now to get access to take that out to make any changes, <clears throat> you've got these three well, you can't see it because of shift two, but there's three of these, and that takes off the uh, output shaft bearing housing. Now, <clears throat> this entire assembly here is known by a whole bunch of different names, just depending on which book you're using. So you'll see it referred to as the counter shaft, the lay shaft, a drive axle, or the output shaft. Now, what I'll do is I'll just uh, see if I can put this together and uh, I'll run it through the gears once just to show you the action of the shift forks. Okay, so I'm going to put this camera down. So. so, you'll know it's in first gear when you look at this center groove here and shift fork number two has no slot above it. Right. So that's first gear. Now remember this is turning. So what happens when you try to do it when it's stationary? Sometimes these dogs line up. Alright, so that's first. That's neutral. There's second. There's third. There's fourth, and that's fifth. All right. Let's go over here, and we'll talk about uh, this. Is the uppercase? So obviously, you have your uh, crankshaft going across here. There's a high bow chain attached to that, and your cam chain. And they drive your um, <clears throat> primary chain gear here. That's where your high bow chain sits on. And this is your uh, starter clutch assembly. And this is your primary uh, drive pinion here. And this, of course, is your uh, middle drive gear. Now, this shaft is basically two parts. It does two jobs. Obviously your starter clutch assembly and it takes the power from your high bow and transfers it out here to your primary drive pin. But the other thing it has here is uh, it's a set of um, cams. So you've on the left hand side of this you can see this, this slot in here. Now when you kick it down into first gear or your power shift, coming first, second, third, whatever, that there's uh, a, a, a loud clunk or a lot of torque anyway goes in, especially when you drop it into first gear. Now, what happens is these are actually five um, disc type springs that operate off torsion. You can see that uh, uh, they're conical shapes. So when they, when they turn, they compress and this, these slots in here take up the slack. So when you hear that big bang, 
that's where it, it's taken up inside the engine right here. And that bang and uh, the hard shifting is called uh, transmission snatch. Okay. So. There we go. So here you go. You got your uh, <clears throat> this particular shaft is called your input shaft or your primary shaft um, drive mechanism or your main uh, shaft axle, whatever you want to call it. Now. <clears throat> I already showed you what the gears were, so the, uh, the, these gears here in your uh, input shaft marry up with the corresponding gear on the other side. So again, it's fifth gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and first gear. All right, you can see these. Let's see these dogs here. These are the dogs I was referring to. And you can see that they're back cut. Whoops, sorry about the camera work. You can see that they're back cut. They actually have a bevel on them. And the reason for that is so that the gears don't pull apart when they're engaged. They actually want to stay together. If these are flat, it'd want to shift out all the time so it'd slip out of gear. All right. So that, that number th uh, two fork actually fits in this slot over on this side of course right. so this your uh, primary shaft or drive mechanism is turning with the high boat chain but nothing's happening in your transmission not until you add one more component and that component Is your clutch. Right. So now you've got power from your pistons through your primary, through your clutch, and into your transmission. Okay, and then it comes out of there and it drives your middle drive. And then your middle drive goes, of course, into your drive shaft, into your final drive, into your wheel. So uh, anyway, that's what's inside the motor. So don't be afraid to split the cases if you have to. Um, 